Oh, how I've missed that intro. And here's the game. Honestly, I haven't played it in like two years, so I hope I'm not too rusty. And uh, I'm going to be doing the story mode. The two player mode might happen in the future, but uh, until then, here we go. Millions of billions of listening blue particles in a thundering typhoon! It's so snowy! And then this game just starts with you flying a plane through a massive thunderstorm. I remember it from around two years ago when I last played the game. And oh my god, these controls are annoying. I remember at some point that we get like struck by lightning. That's the one bit of the intro I remember and that- Oh wait, no, there it is. Well, that was the game right there, so can I go now? Never mind, it was just a flashback. And there it is, the title of this legendary game. Honestly, it's been so long since I last played it properly, and I'm just really glad that I can play it again. And especially for you guys watching on YouTube. So, here we go. Oh yeah, and here's the dog. Oh! Oh, I think I can move now. Oh yeah, I can move! Oh, that's cool. Um, right, uh, press Don't miss the Wait, best what? Bargains in Belgium. Oh. Oh yeah, Snowy has a ability where he can, like, sniff people out with their footsteps. It's weird, I know. Anyway, I found Tintin. Ah, oh, there you are, you little rascal. For those of you who don't know who this character is, first off, what are you even doing here? He is the main character of the game and he is in the title. I am just questioning why you're even watching this video. But anyway, his name is Tintin. He's a 17-year-old reporter from Brussels. And, um, he's quite nimble, I'll say that. Like, literally, just, this is me, like, editing in the future. He is so f strong for a 17 year old you've been chasing cats again eh and this is his companion snowy a white fox terrier dog that has saved his life so many times while tintin is the brains of everything most of the time snowy has saved his butt a lot of times if he wasn't there then tintin would probably be dead right now and also i love how they mention some people have heard him talk nice reference to the books that he was in oh right i think he wants us to follow him what do you want to show me is it to that ship again snowy not so and fast it? oh oh these are the treasure chest things yeah they have opium in them just uh ignore the fact that drugs are everywhere that, that's a bad point anyway moving on to this totally not suspicious ship that doesn't have a treasure is this what you want me to see easy boy good dog you're right she is a beauty oh she is She's a real crooner. You mean schooner? Well, that's what I said. Hmm. And she's yours for 90. Snowy, why are you so interested in a model ship? You can't eat it. Try me, bitch. I'll give you 50 for it. Sold for 70. And I'd say you got a real bargain. Huh. How much for the boat? This Severus Snape sounding wannabe is called Max Bird. He's an antique stealer and he's the main villain for the first chapter and then he disappears again for no reason whatsoever. I'm afraid you're too late, sir. I'll buy it off you. I'm sorry, sir. I'm not interested in selling it. Wait a minute. I'm a collector. I'll give you ten times what you paid for it. That's 700 bucks. Take that bloody deal. I'm sorry. God damn it. Listen, young man. I'm warning you. Easy, I'm boy. Warning. That's enough, Snowy. I'm very sorry. Good day. Yeah, totally not suspicious at all, mate. Well, that's very strange. We're not the only ones who fancy this old model. I'm beginning to think there's more to this than meets the eye. I know someone who knows a thing or two about boats. Shall I introduce you? Oh, yes. Thanks. Let's go. Okay, so we're going to find a guy who knows... Are you really going to move? That's... Uh, yeah... Mate, are you really going to walk that slow? Come on, Matt. Please, come on! So you bought the unicorn. That's his name. Triple master, double decks, 50 guns. And famous for all the wrong reasons. The unicorn? You should take a look at this. So this is some sort of book that I'm pretty sure describes what the unicorn is and its history. So I'm just going to quickly skip past that because it's boring. The captain of the unicorn. Sir Francis Haddock. That seems important. He sank his own ship. Why? Why would he send the unicorn to the bottom of the sea? It doesn't say. History is never truly in the past, young man. History is in our blood. What an odd drawing. 
It looks like there's a... I'll take it. Thank you, sirs. And have a lovely day. Are we just going to ignore the fact that Tintin just straight up stole that book? It looks like the mast could be turned. You're telling me that everybody just missed the fact that there's an giant little painting of the unicorn on the front of the masts. I call bullshit. Huh. There's something inside this model. <laughs> Good old Snowy. So that's what you sensed, eh? It's rolled up. Some kind of document. An old scroll. Three brothers joined. Three unicorns in company sailing in the noonday sun will speak. What does that mean? What kind of gibberish is that? Exactly! Okay, you're telling me that they just so happened to find him in a random street in Belgium. That's also bullshit. That's him. You get mugged, kid! Oi! That's my boat! <laughs> oh, hell no, I'm getting my boat back. Please. Come back here, you little sh. Okay, right, I'm about to whoop these guys up. Come here. Boom. Bap. Beep. Boop. Bap. I just... What? Wait, okay. <laughs> F*** you. Boop. Finish him! Oh! Wait, hang on. What did I just do? That rapscallion must be long gone by now. Snowy, it's up to you. Okay. They're after the scroll. I'm sure of it. I mean, you never know. He might just like collecting ships for all you know. I'm just saying, that's a possibility. And to those of you who think I'm not the one playing this in the recording, then uh, here's a little loop de loop for you. Try and find that somewhere else. Marlin Spike Hall. M and G Bird. Ringing it won't help much now, will it? And yet you resort to breaking and entering. This doesn't seem very smart. Oh yeah, and here's Shifty McGee again. He's going into the bird's place. What do we do, Alan? Nothing for now. He's going to be a major villain, isn't he? Quietly, Snowy. Whoa, okay. I didn't realise we were going into a massive mansion. Like, it's enough to make a selfie with this look. Are we also just going to bust in through the front door as well? It's too risky. We need to find another way in, Snowy. Uh, of course he predicts me again. Well, you have it. Some kid bought it right from under my nose. We got it back. There's nothing inside. The kids found the scroll for sure. Hmm. Let's put it back in its place. We'll figure it out later. Well, there goes my theory of him just wanting the boats. Let's try and follow them. Do you think going through the back door will work? They probably have that locked as well. Dead end again. What did I tell you? Eureka Snowy. Let's follow it. Rats always find a way inside. It'll guide us. Okay, so now we're just using a bloody rat to try and find our way into a mansion. This seems really smart, Tintin, not gonna lie. Okay, it seems to be going this Seek. way. That's a nice looking fountain Keep as well. Searching. Okay, um, that's a bush. Okay, tracks are something? here. And what's this? Wait, what? Not a sound. Oh jeez! I can't follow you. You'll have to open up a way for me to get in. Okay, so I'm underground now. That's cool. I'm assuming this is some sort of tutorial to understand how to play Snowy. But uh, okay. Shake to bark at the rats. Oh. Oh, these these are probably the only things that can hurt you while playing as Snowy. I'm guessing. Okay. Jesus Christ, this dog is nimble. Uh, okay, so he, oh my God, he can jump as well. What can this dog not do? Ah, nice. Good to know that my dog can sniff opium out. Really good to know. To the adoption center. Okay, so looks like Tintin's getting into the fountain. Looks promising. And this looks like some sort of interior castle. Uh, okay. We're in the cellar beneath Marlin's bike. It. Your dog did all the work here. I'm giving you the scroll, Snowy. If I get caught, they won't think to search you. Okay, this Bravo, seems Snowy. to be some sort of cellar. Whoa, whoa, whoa. With a massive hole in the middle. It looks like 
looks like some kind of crypt. Wait, how did I do that? Wait, there's depth? What? Oh yeah, more opium, that's cool. How many of these are- 15! Jesus Christ. How did that fool not completely shatter his ankles? Okay, so not only are we breaking and entering, but we're also probably going to have to beat up these guys as well. So uh, let, let's do this. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Gotta say, I didn't expect to be smashing people's skulls in this. And uh, you're next, mate. Just saying. It's actually brutal. Wait, that's what I did earlier. It's a shake in midair and I can do some sort of hop thing. And it does damage. Wait, what? And I can pick people up as well. What? Ooh, that's a lot of guys. Uh, okay, how do we do this? Actually, no, what's screw it. I'm gonna beat them all to death. One, two, three. Now, how do we deal with the fat one? <gasps> Ooh, I've got an idea. Oh, it didn't work. <laughs> Never mind. All these antiques. Collectors must live here. Sorry to be that guy, but did you forget when they said this? I'm a collector. I'll give you ten times what you paid for it. Or are you just too busy crawling around to find out? Oh, yep. Yeah. More opium. Love to see it. Starting to get worried if I'm gonna have an overdose yeah. soon. Okay, people here. As you wish, sir. What? What? Wait, what? <laughs> I'm gonna have a lawsuit on my hands soon at this rate. Oh, there's a treasure chest there as well. Okay. Press and hold B to grab hold of the handle. Let's see. And that moves the platform? Oh, okay. But le let me get this first. Tintin's gonna be a drug addict by the time I'm done playing this game. Oh, oh sh**. That guy just got a major concussion. Why do they have so many people here? Also, why did that guy sound so... I don't know, weird. Here's another opium crate. Oh yeah, and these are med kits. The uh, things that pretty much heal you in this game. As you can see, I'm now back to three health points. Instead of being on the two I was on earlier. <laughs> Given the size of this underground crypt, this little manor must be the equivalent size of Buckingham Palace. Is that a glass bottle? Press and hold beat it. Move. Wait, what? You can throw things. I just need to stop processing new information here and just accept what the game wants me to accept. I'll, I'll just... I just need to shut off and go. I'm seeing double here. Nothing like the grand tour for thrills. Go, Luison. I like copying myself. After a quick Google search, this means that this game is set between 1949 and 1952. Oh yeah, I figured this out early because I was mashing buttons, but if you mash A, you can climb up ladders faster. This seems like the only hittable thing, so uh... Oh, imagine if that hit a person. And I just hit him. Why did my health bar just disappear? We're getting close to the unicorn. This seems extremely suspicious. Oh, uh, why not? Let's just go for it. Oh dear God! I would have been completely flattened there. Oh yikes! Hear that, Zoe? We finally made it out. Be careful. Ah, oh, it's taken so long to get here as well. Please be prompt tomorrow morning, 5 a.m. in the kitchens. How about no? Just absolutely decked him with a glass bottle. Hello there. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. I also just completely fractured his spine. I'm still worried about that guy that I just completely decked earlier. Ow. Okay, that appears to be a locked door. So, how do we unlock it? Grab onto the edge of the hole to get Snowy through. Go on, Snowy. Good boy. Yeah! Yeah! That dog probably feels violated right now. Also, there's a treasure chest and a key here. And... Three hordes of... Four hordes of rat. Five hordes of... Six hordes The cleaners clearly don't do a good job. Gonna leave a one-star review on in place. <laughs> oh, 
that was disgusting. I just sent that man to an early grave. I can feel my skills rapidly coming back. I know that they show stars when they're knocked out, but at the same time, Tintin probably has 20 kills on his hands. <laughs> we're going to the naval room. Make sure we're not disturbed. Of course. Sir. Oh, I'm going to make sure you're disturbed. Wait, not like that. I could just technically hit one of them with this bottle now, but at the same time. And as for this douche, I'm going to put him on that sofa over there and see if it still stands up afterwards. Don't cancel me for that joke, I'm just trying to make you laugh. Also, Tintin, what is your aim? Wait, the elevator's coming back up for us. But, surely... If the Bird Brothers have gone down, then why is it coming back up for Tintin? This section hasn't really had anything interesting to show, so I might just have to cut a lot of it out. And I sincerely hope to God that this elevator leads to a section that's actually good. I love the game, but this section has been boring. Okay, there seems to be light here. This seems promising. Why are they always in groups of four? Anyway, there's one. Okay, here's two. And also three, I guess. That's cool. Okay, why is there a beach ball inside? Oh, okay. Oh, so it's acting like a thing that can bounce off walls. Okay, let me just quickly hit this guy in the balls. That is pain beyond compression. Why does he have an umbrella? I now see why I retract my previous statement. But at the same time, this leaves him extremely vulnerable from behind. Don't take that out of context. I've got to be getting close at this point. And also, hang on, wait. What is that floor right there? It looks like it sticks. And I think they actually were sticks. I believe I've only got one or two of these left. Never mind, that was the final one. I always seem to sort of second guess myself here. Okay, lads, here's the plan. Hit one in the balls and the other one in the head. Let's go. Mission failed. We'll get next time. I might have missed. Okay, there are two here as well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, oh my god. So we're now climbing up onto the roof. That is a nice view. Anyway, we're climbing onto the... You know what would make this perfect? A spotlight. So the police actually realise that we're breaking an entry. Because there's no way the Bird Brothers haven't reported us by now. Never thought this morning would be this eventful. Yeah, no shit. Wow, incredible. This is some collection. A real private museum. My unicorn. And another unicorn. Remember, Snowy? Three unicorns sailing in the noonday sun. So... This is the little brat from the market. I forgot to talk about him earlier because frankly I just forgot while editing. But anyway, his name is G Bird, which I'm assuming stands for George. And uh, basically it's his fault we're even in this mess in the first place. I think you have something that belongs to us. What are you talking about? That's my ship. I paid for it. You really should have sold her when I asked. You too. You're searching for the unicorns, aren't you? Why are you so interested in these unicorns? There were three unicorns, all built by Sir Francis Haddon. Heirlooms for his three sons. Shut it. And each ship has a scroll hidden in the mast. Now, what would that be about, I wonder? It's nothing. Those ships are not important. You expect me to believe that? I would guess we're talking about buried treasure. Is that right? That's enough! If you have the scroll, I want it. Or what? What? Ah, oh, I got you now. Ah! Well, that was easy. <sighs> and now, let's see what you unicorns have up your sleeves. <sighs> Nothing. Must be mine. Let's try the other one. I have a feeling that the Bird Brothers are keeping their scroll on them. Because there's no way they're just going to put it back in the ship. Yes, Snowy! We've got it! Nothing there either, but 
How? Would you believe me if I said they might keep a valuable thing on them? Dirty little pest. Gracious. Is this what you're looking for? I knew it! He has it with him. Wait, are they gonna run me over with a car? Shit, 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 shit. Why the hell are they trying to run me over? Are they fing insane? Parkour! Why are you running? Why are you running? This is your last chance, kid! Where is the scroll? I don't have the scroll! Then we won't be needing you anymore. Ow! Shifty McGee to the rescue! And the guy who's definitely not going to be a villain. I thank you, gentlemen. I believe I owe you one. Alan, I've got it. Hey, what are you doing? You mean, you're also looking for... Who are you? Bring him along. He knows things. Well, guess we're going to human trafficking. I guess it's up to Snowy to uh, save Tintin's ass again. So Tintin's basically been kidnapped, and the dog's meant to save him. Huh? Oh, we're going on a ship. You what, mate? So, matey, how'd you like your new quarters? Who are you? Where are you taking me? On a nice cruise. Travel broadens the mind, don't you agree? Do you work for the Bird Brothers? The Bird Brothers are no longer a problem. They were even quite, shall we say, cooperative. This guy that you're seeing right here is called Alan. He's a pretty nasty guy all around. He was once Captain Haddock's second in command on this ship called the Karabujan, and uh, don't worry, you'll meet Captain Haddock later. Overall, this guy's a dick. My boss wants the other one. Where is it? Sorry, gentlemen. Can't help you. Okay, genius. I'll let you explain that one to the boss. Lieutenant! Not now. You need it. It's a captain. He's, uh... <sighs> what, again? He's gone off the deep end. <sighs> All right, I'm coming. If I were you, I'd start talking now, before we make port. I'm more worried about where he hid their scroll the entire time. Ah, good boy, Snowy. Now all we need is Alan's. This place seems really bad. Yikes. I'm looking forward to having a little chat with this Alan. I feel like most people who got kidnapped would probably try and stay away from their kidnapper, but whatever floats your boat, Tintin. Ah, uh, not again! Why do those platforms fold underneath you? Imagine the crew just walking along or jumping across platforms and suddenly, boom, they've just gone into the engine. <laughs> I just shattered every bone in his body. Tintin's probably gonna die from crab overdose soon. That is a big ass boat. Is that ice? Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, definitely ice. Hello. That looked painful. Fatality. Extremely painful. Okay, what's this? I see what it wants me to do, but how do I get to that treasure chest up there? Oh, wait, hang on. I'm so big brain. Oh, I'm just too smart. This world cannot handle my genius. <laughs> so I'm assuming it wants me to stop this with the cork. Oh, and those are now not moving anymore. Okay, I can see how that can work in a few puzzles. Oh, cool, we're going into vents now. What just happened there? Um... 
Let's see. Can I hit him? No, I can't. Okay, I've realized that now. Maybe he slips on the ice, I hope. Yeah, okay, he does. Cool. Weird situation, but helpful to know. I remember this little treasure chest back here because six-year-old me was trying to find it for two hours at one point. I hope you guys are enjoying this video so far. And it's the first time I've played this game in around two years. So I'm enjoying it quite a lot. Now, what's this? Bananas. Huh. Yeah, that checks out. Oh my god, why is there so much red smoke everywhere? And what am I supposed to do here? Just aimlessly hang and hope I don't fall into the engine, that's what. <laughs> I find it quite strange how Tintin's able to do this all at 17. I mean, I know for a fact that a lot of people nowadays couldn't really do anything without their phones. That's rough. <laughs> That was too close for comfort. Almost went into the fumes of freak dog there. Okay, let's grab that med kit first. Try me, I dare you. That's what I thought. Okay, there's one. I'm starting to think these guys are just stupid. There are literally signs saying the floor is icy. Okay, what's in here? Rope? I don't know where this is going. What the hell? To be honest, I'm just surprised at how well Tinson can actually aim this thing. Could you please keep what? quiet, all right? What? It's okay. Everything's fine. Who are you? Uh, me? No one. Don't mind me. I'm already gone. Were you talking to someone, Captain? Uh, uh, no one. So, Captain, what's all this fuss Alan, about then? I'm sick of being hauled up in what's here. What's wrong? You got a nice cabin? I'm hauled up in the hold. And what I want is my boat back. My boat. I don't think that's a good idea. But I'm the captain. Sure you are. But you know full well. What? Your family has never been very good with ships. Uh, and we know why. Oh, the cars. Precisely. Listen, the ship's in good hands with me, but you'll get it back soon. I just need the helm for this little operation. Uh, listen, I was just saying to Tim... Me? I was telling Tim that we need you. Huh? There you go. Red is for longitude, blue for latitude. Crayons! Be a sport and calculate our heading for the next two hours, eh? You think I'm a fool? Scoundrel! Imposter! I've got a passenger to deal with. What sort of passenger? An unwelcome one. Remember, red for latitude, blue for longitude. But you said the opposite, Chief. Ah, go make a plank, then walk it. Who was that? Was it Alan? Where was he going? Um, up top to the wheelhouse, in the control room. Is it true that you're the captain of this ship? Well, that was awkward. Anyway, let's keep good. That's a gun. Okay. Hmm. Um. How do I do this one? Almost just got shot. And he's now dead. Cool. You're gonna do a superhero landing. Wait for it. Woo! Superhero landing. That is hard work right there. Be ashamed to interrupt it. <laughs> this guy seems special. Does he only just run away? Is that all he does? I take it back. That was shit. <laughs> Again? Three brothers joined. Three unicorns in company. 
Why did you decide to stick your nose in my affairs? You're the ones who forced me to come along. Well, if you give me your scroll, you can get off my ship at the next port. You're lying, and this is not your ship. Ah, oh, so you met Haddock. Well, he isn't the captain anymore. He's what you might call a shipwreck. Haddock? The captain's name is Haddock. Ah! Come and fight! Stop squirming! You expect me to hold still? Is that... That's a bomb! Mate, why have the last two boss fights been extremely easy to do? Ah, oh, yep. Tintin stealing. Getting arrested soon. Ah, here's the second scroll. That's the scroll he stole from the Bird Brothers. I think I'll keep that. Might be useful. And now I'm going to put things straight with that Captain Haddock. Captain! Are you the descendant of Sir Francis Haddock? Captain of the triple-masted unicorn under King Charles II? Who are you again? And this, ladies and gentlemen, is Captain Haddock. First name Archibald and Captain of the Caraboujan, the ship we're currently on. And also descendant of Sir Francis Haddock, the captain of the unicorn. My name is Tintin. I'm a reporter. I have in my possession two scrolls handwritten by the very same Sir Francis Haddock. I'm in search of treasure, the long lost treasure of the unicorn. That's enough. I don't want to talk about all that. Alan! Alan is a bandit. He's double crossed you so he can take command of your ship. And you know it. I'm going to have you put in irons. Oh, 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 ah! oh. I can help you as much as you can help me. Just tell me what you know. It is the year 1676. The Unicorn, a valiant ship of King Charles II's fleet, has left Barbados in the West Indies and set sail for Europe. The captain is indeed my ancestor, Sir Francis Haddock, to my great misfortune. Two days at sea, a good stiff breeze, and the Unicorn is reaching on the starboard tack. Suddenly, there's a hail aloft from the crow's nest. Sail on the port bow! <sighs> the Jolly Roger. Pirates. Worse. Red Rackham. The wind's in their favor. We've got to outsail them. She's over. Man the poop. Stand by to haul to the wind. Then. We shall fight. Gunners, to your stations! Fire! We put a hole through our jib! But it wasn't enough. Prepare to be boarded! They're swarming over the side! No quarter! Who is that, Captain? The devil. I wish it were, Mr. Legenek. I wish it were. Sorry I wasn't talking for a bit there. I just wanted to let the cutscene play. Now... I sort of remember how to play- wait. Wait, hang on. Oh my god, I can! Oh, I can just have a complete spasm. Wait, hang on, let me test this out. Oh my god, it works! Oh my god, these people do not stand a chance. I am about to send this place to above and beyond. With me, man! With me, man! If you guys want to know why I'm playing this on the Wii, then uh, this would be it. The controls for this game on the Wii are just so fun to use. And then... Oh, protect. Oh yeah, basically if people like are about to fully attack you, you can block it basically. And what's this? In all fairness, I can just remember these things later. All I really have to do is just have an absolute spasm on the controller and it'll work. Oh god, I think the captain's on more opium than I am. 
I've been collecting every chest around the game. Oh. Oh, so there are like different directions where you can defend. Helpful to know. Dear God, he's destroying his own ship. That opium he's taking must be extremely strong. Follow up a successful parry by attacking the... Oh, okay, so he's just a maniac attacking me with a butcher knife. Exactly, a megalomaniac. Alright. Now, how many more of these guys are there? Hello, who's this? Uh, okay. So he's got an actual sword and a dagger, and he seems to have Tourette's or something because he's jittering around. Oh, I just triple hit comboed him. And the captain is completely decking his ship. Oh my god, he's gonna make it explode. Get a hold of yourself! Oh my god! You're smashing your own ship to pieces! Blistering barnacles! What have I done? We have to get out of here now! Hurry! Who gave him that opium? <gasps> my ship! What have I done? Back to the bridge, Captain! So just to recap, he's basically sunk his own ship because of an opium overdose. And I've been collecting these the entire time. Speaking of which, and hopefully this is the last time I have to do one of these opium jokes until probably March when I inevitably make a part two if this does well. I feel like the ship should be listing at this point. Oh, oh, no, never mind. For those of you who don't know what listing is, it's basically where the ship fills up so much where it starts to like tilt and then kind of sink into the water. Like all the haddocks. Uh-oh. Uh, <laughs> Not another chase scene. If I had a nickel for every time there was a chase scene so far in this game, I'd have two nickels, which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice. Also, Captain Haddock has probably drowned. Hang in there. I still need you, Captain. Captain! This is what listing is, by the way. I just have to get out of here alone. Oh dear god. Oh wow. The ship's listed. Yeah, I saw that. Oh god, are we gonna have to make our escape sideways? Don't mind me just standing still while the world around me crumbles. Gotta move, 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 move. I would not be able to hold my breath that long. Yikes. Is that that's a plane. Nobody has to die for a ship. I should have. And my ancestor, too. Your ancestor? Why? How does his story end? He fled. Like a coward. Abandoned his own ship. And destroyed it. He sacrificed his crew. Well, see you all in March.